in the Mount Baker ski area near Mount Baker with Mount Shuxon in the background over here with this beautiful glacier on the top of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You don't see glaciers very often. They're kind of a unique thing, aren't they? Well, you have to get up in the high mountains today in order to be able to see them. Mm -hmm. And they're much smaller than they used to be. Glaciers used to be much larger than this. How big? Are we talking about just twice that size? Or? In the past, glaciers have covered these mountains down even 3,000 feet lower than we have today. Oh. But even before that, ice sheets, which are basically glaciers on flat terrain, covered major areas of the world. Uh, for example, in North America, the ice sheets extended clear across Canada. They extended down into the United States. So that period of time when that much ice was here, that was the ice age. Hmm. Well, I think most people probably think if you just lower the temperature, you can get an ice age. Well, it doesn't work that way because you gotta get the water vapor from somewhere in order to produce the snow. So somewhere you have to have warm temperatures and you have to have cold temperatures. Hmm. And we believe that's what happened during the Ice Age, that at, at, in the past that the oceans were much warmer and the continents were much colder, so that when water vapor that was evaporated out of the ocean was drifted over the cold continents, it then fell out as snow and ice. As an atmospheric scientist, what do you see in the past that would have caused those unique conditions? From my perspective, the Bible really gives us a clue as to what happened that caused the Ice Age. The Genesis flood was a magnificent, catastrophic, high energy event, mm. and it left the oceans warm. And it took about a thousand years for the ocean to cool back down to the temperature that we have today oh. where it's uniform. But during that period of time, particularly right after the Genesis flood when the oceans were the warmest, it produced a tremendous amount of heat and evaporated water into the atmosphere, which then fell as the snow and the ice on the continents forming the Ice Age. So the Genesis flood was actually the cause of the Ice Age. Hmm. Larry, that sounds like we have some very, very unique conditions then. Yes, they were. For example, we know that uh, there were a lot of activity in the ocean. The plates that we are aware of on the surface of the Earth today between those plates, there were cracks where magma came up, hot magma from the mantle, spewed out on the bottom of the oceans and formed a gigantic mountain chain. And that 40,000 mile long mountain chain of hot magma as it cooled, warmed up the ocean. And we have that information from estimates of sea surface temperature from seafloor sediment data. Hmm. And the conventional community believes that as well. It's just they have a different age for it, 65 to 100 million years ago. During the Cretaceous period, 